Marco Verratti. That has been cut short. De Bruyne. Oh, good tip. Yeah, the pass was bang on, and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on, too. Three nil, and things are starting to look awfully cosy. Well, that's really winded the opposition. You can see their manager screaming on the touchline, telling his team to calm down. But they'll need to do that pretty quickly. It's composure from here. Now it and the header. Marco Verratti. It's a decent chance to counter-attack. And it's De Bruyne. Luca Bacchio. Luca Bacchio driving forwards. Carrasco finds himself offside. Romagnoli played out towards the right wing Tielemans they want to be quick here it's breakaway time now it's the point of it's run loose who's gonna get there shots on shots here on. Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Ferretti. Oh, good spread. Ferrari. He's found a way through. Challenge just a bit on the firm side. Ferrari has been caught there. It's a foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. The delivery beautifully, but got the finish all wrong. Ah, oh, good play all round. He was well hustled and, and still got a shot away. And it's De Bruyne. Over to the left. Now has he got the beating of his marker here? Barella. Now it's Berardi. He's got away. Takes on his marker. Barella. Now tries a shot. No mistake. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Yeah, that's what the game is all about. Excitement and entertainment. What a lovely moment. And we hit half-time. Belgium are two up, and on the balance of things, I would say, deservedly so. They had a very coherent game plan, and if they are allowed to continue in the same vein, I can only see the margin getting bigger. Belgium head in for half-time with a 3-1 lead.
There's the start of the second half. He's looking to set free a runner. He's shifting through the gears here. Look at back here. And this could be a Belgian break. Luca Bacchio. Castagna. Good spot, he's seen the run. Luca Bacchio. And in again. And he there. And they are cruising away. Some heroic goalkeeping, but even that couldn't save them this time. Well, they say all goalkeepers are crazy, and after that, maybe there's some truth in it. Belgium to blast themselves into a three-goal lead. Not the most accurate pass. Torreira Carrasco. And it's Lukaku. They'll want to make the most of this turnover. Luca Bacchio. Interesting ball. Brilliantly cut out. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Played out towards the right wing. Well, the defence proved infallible then. But that won't be the last they'll see of him. Played out to the left flank. He was under real pressure there. And here's De Bruyne, and De Bruyne! He would have been quick to recover this. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and there's Italy have a free kick. And here's Berati. Berardi, he's beaten the offside trap. Look at Bacchio. And there's his chance to lead the counter. And it's Verratti. Verratti. Danger averted for now. Throw it. Di Lorenzo. Berardi. He is through here. Keeper's ball. Torreira Carrasco. Now looking to orchestrate a counter. Well seen. Saw that coming. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, they didn't smell the danger early enough, but I suppose better late than never. Now this shakes the shoots! And so clear that one side are so much better. The scoreline entirely justified. It's a mass exodus now. Certain sections of the stadium are leaving in droves, and you can't blame them. It's become a case of men against boys. 
Barella. Oh, that pass isn't the best. Move forward and quickly so. Now it's Tielemans. Spread out to the left. Tielemans. Oh, the shot could be on here. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Time then for the first substitution of the game. Yeah, it's about time I think we saw some activity from the bench, but it's it's debatable as to what level of impact can be made from here. It's it's pretty late. De Lorenzo. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Played back to the goalkeeper. Spinazzola. To Barella. Di Lorenzo. And it's Berardi. And that has left him in a heap. Italy making consecutive changes here. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Now then, the ball's come loose. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. And that's been intercepted. Pressure already building up here. Tielemans. Gently done. Gently done. Dink through. Dink through. Knocks it away. Knocks it away. Tessina. Tessina. Now it's Tessina. Four extra minutes added on. Tielemans. Played out to the right. Now it's Lukaku. In with the challenge. Tessina. Barella, who set up one goal so far. Out to the left it goes. Oh, the chip pass hasn't quite come off. And time is up. Belgium enjoy their perfect day. For their victims, it is entirely imperfect. Comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. De Bruyne picking up the Man of the Match award, and no surprise there. Your final thoughts, Jim? Belgium were very impressive here, Peter. The backbone of this team is so strong, and it proved to be the decisive area. My thanks to Jim alongside me, and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.